Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Pravin Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Author, currently working as a Solutions Architect on Azure. Today we are going to learn how to integrate Bicep scripts with Azure DevOps CI/CD pipelines. In this video, I'm going to show you the existing code of a pipeline. However, in the future, I'll be creating the pipelines from the scratch. Let's head over to Azure DevOps portal and Azure Management portal. I'll show you multiple things in each of these portals. As you can see here, currently I opened QA environment. Basically, I created a resource group for QA. Currently, it has no resources and the deployments are also empty. Now let's head over to Azure DevOps portal. As you can see here, I have a repo called DevOps and in the developer branch, I have infra mod infra folder, which has a lot of bicep files. These are all modules and all these modules are invoked from main.bicep. This main dot bicep needs a lot of uh, input parameters. Basically, there are I think around 14 input parameters. Now, we need to ensure that this main dot bicep file can be invoked for multiple environments. It could be QA currently, and in the future, it could be for production environment as well. Now, the values for all these parameters should come from bicep param. Now the bicep param should be designed in such a way that the values should be supporting all environments, not just one environment. So here this bicep param is environment agnostic. I will open this in a moment, but before this, let me explain where to specify environment specific values. We specify all the environment specific values in variable groups. Here in the library section, I created multiple variable groups, dev, QA, and prod. Currently, I will show you the values for QA. So this variable group contains all the environment specific names for QA. As you can see, this is uh, app insights name, app service name, app service plan name. So everywhere you have the word QA. Similar to this, in production, QA will be replaced with PRD. Okay, so now whenever we are running pipeline for a specific environment, let's say we run the pipeline for QA environment, then our pipeline should pick the values from this variable group. And if we run it for production, our bicep pipeline should take the values from prd underscore vg. Okay, so now how do we pass these variables to our main dot bicep param? Right, that's the main point. So now this main dot bicep param should not have any hard coded values. So what we should do is we should use a concept called tokens. As you can see here, the value for every parameter is in the form of a token hash curly brace starts here and curly brace ends here and hash one more ending hash in the middle ensure that you are using the parameter name here as a token for everything for text sql server name the token is the actual parameter name okay so now we need to ensure that the variables in the variable group the names of the variables in the variable group should use these tokens as the names for example if i copy this and if i do a quick search in qa the name is matching so now what we need to do is whenever we run for qa Our pipeline should search for 
pre tokens or for every tokens and then retrieve the value from here for example let's say we have a token called p app service plan name in our bicep param so this entire token should be replaced with the value of a variable whose name is this that's the functionality that we need to implement now this looks little complex however there is a simple solution for this complex requirement so all we need is to understand which pipeline task can help us okay there is a task called replace tokens that's not available in the default list of azure devops tasks it's available in marketplace let me do a quick google search azure devops marketplace extension replace tokens So this is a third party extension you have to use this and i think i already written an article on this yeah you can also go through this in c sharp corner website as well now this is a marketplace extension you have to install this if you did not install it earlier by clicking on this free button of course you need to have project administrator role in order to install extensions okay before i explain that particular task let me quickly explain how the pipeline is designed so as you can see here this is a bicep pipeline in azure devops basically ml based pipeline uh, i have two templates one is build template the other one is release templates and because we have two environments um, i created I called bicep release template twice, once for QA, once for PRD. Now here in build template, we don't do much. All we do is uh, copy the bicep files into artifact staging directory and then do a publish. Nothing special here. Let's move to release template. So here in release template, we use a concept called deployment job maybe i can explain more about deployment job in a separate video uh, here you can look at the variable group reference uh, we have a parameter called environment and the way we created variable groups is environment name underscore vg prdqr environment names underscore vg that's how we created variable groups. So now in order to refer those variable groups based on the environment to which we are running, all we need is parameter name underscore VG. Okay. And then here you see it's one simple task called replace tokens. So what this replace tokens does is if let me click on settings, it will search for a file called main.biceparam here. I am searching only for one file. We can also search for multiple files as well. And what this replace token task does is it looks for all these files in this folder and it searches for tokens in this pattern. So in bicep param, we have created around 14 tokens in this pattern. Now this task will search for all the tokens in this pattern from these files and replaces the tokens with the values of the variables in the variable group that's it so the task of this task is to replace tokens with actual values and update that file in that location available in that location and next step here is we are calling az deployment group group create azure cli command and here we are just invoking main.bicep param by the time this command executes this main.bicep file will not have those tokens it would have the actual values which are being pulled from the qa variable group when we run it for 
QA environment. So now let me quickly run the pipeline. Run the pipeline, select develop branch. Before running the pipeline, or maybe I'll quickly run it. First, it will run the build stage, which copies all the bicep code. It creates an artifact, and then it will wait for my approval before running for QA stage. So while it is running, let me quickly show you the resource group one more time. As you can see here, it's empty. There are no resources. Yeah. One artifact is published. Now it is waiting for my approval. This is for QA. Approve it. Yeah, it just kicked off. Now, as you can see here, replace tokens. It, it was able to find main dot by param. You can expand this. You see, it replaced 14 tokens out of 14. In our main dot by param, it found 14 tokens, and all of them are replaced without any problems. Now, our Azure CLA command got kicked off. It did authentication. And now it looks like it has started deployment. Now let's go and see the progress in our resource group. Do a refresh. Nothing is created yet. Uh, six resources are getting deployed. You can see some error in the key vault, but that's fine. <coughs> Here, a uh, log and text workspace has been created and Data lake is getting created. Yeah. App service plan is also created. So that is how you maintain only one single bicep param, but the values are coming from variable group. From now onwards, you don't have to touch YAML pipeline. Tomorrow there could be 10 more parameters. All you need is create 10 new parameters here and ensure that you are following this token syntax and all the new 10 parameter values must be created inside the variable group and provide the appropriate value for the specific environment. And from now onwards, as I said, you don't have to touch the YAML file at all. Just add new parameters to bicep param as and when you have a requirement and come here and update the new variables in this variable group. And of course, you have to do the same thing in all variable groups, production, QA, and dev. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know your questions in the comment section. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.